Hey guys, what's up? This is Alex here with another COD tutorial. And this tutorial is going to be on creating that colored scope effect as you saw in the video preview earlier. So if you haven't seen it, it is what we're going to be creating today. And it's going to color each section of the scope. And then it's going to zoom out. And that's basically the effect. It's really simple and it's really easy. Alright, so you're going to have your clip. And the first thing you want to do is right click on it and go to properties and disable the resample next uh, since we're going to be syncing the blinking colors of the scope you want to have a piece of sound effect or music on your timeline so i'm just going to sync it to these four beats all right so i'm going to just sync it a little bit and that's it and also you can slow down your clip because you want to make sure you get all of the sections of the scope so you want to slow it to about uh, two seconds so just make a cut and go to the end of your clip hold control and just drag it out but since I already kind of slowed down my clip before I don't need to do that so yeah so once you have your sound effects or music you want to go to the first effect or sound effects and go onto your video clip and then make a cut and then you want to go for it about 10, 10 frames, 10 to 15 frames. Make another cut. Then go to the second sound effect and do the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And just repeat the same process for all four times. Now, right click on your timeline and create another video track. And we're just going to click on the first cut we made. And hold control and select the other four cuts and then again hold control and then click and drag it up those will duplicate the clips and the next thing you want to do is go to the top left hand corner of your video clip hover your cursor over it this little icon should appear and you're going to drag it to the right and that's going to bring up the fade offset make sure it's only set to 0 0.02 so that's two frames and then for the last part, you're going to hover your cursor at the right hand side of the video clip and drag it out 4 to 5 frames. And do the same thing throughout. So it should look something like this. Nothing's going to happen because these clips are layered over each other. So make sure you don't move any of the top or bottom clips because they need to be in synchronization with each other. Alright, next you want to go to your masking tool. So open up your event pan crop. And for this one, we're just going to go in order. So it's going to start here, 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 here. Or you can alternate like here, 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 there. So zoom in, select your mask tool. And you want to mask the starting point. Go to the end of the circle and then work your way until you get one fourth of the scope and connect it by clicking on the last or actually on the first point you made and if you want to feather it make sure you don't feather it too much so keep it below one or one percent all right and then for the second one do the same thing as well to zoom in but this time we're going to be masking out this side because we did this side on the first mask and then we're going to do the last two sections of the scope and there you go now if you mute the first bottom video track you can see the individual sections that you masked out and then we're going to be applying a color corrector on them to make them change colors and, the, and that's going to be making the top layer kind of a transparent color layer over the first video track. So go to your video FX, go to color corrector, and apply the default one onto the first, or actually onto the separate clips on the top track. And you want to make sure that you only change the mid section of the color corrector. If you change the low, it's going to make the color a really solid color and you can't really see through the uh, 
Let's go. So the first one, I'm just gonna make it red. There you go, and pretty much do the same process for the other three clips. So I'll make them all different colors. And if your color isn't dark enough, you can go down to saturation and then bring that up. And you're basically done. So let's preview our short little clip. So that's how you do the colored scope effects. I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you want any more tutorials like this, please post your suggestions in the comments and I will see you guys next time.